Last time on Theonomics. The amphibious vehicle is one step closer to hitting the water. After building the custom exhaust, now the rest of the body can be fabricated. But before anything else can be done, the most dreaded part of any build needs to be addressed. Okay, so we're at the point in this project where most of the major components are sort of in place and uh, I need to start thinking about the wiring. This is quite a uh, pile and unfortunately I need a lot of it. Basically, splice through what I need and just get a rough layout. I had taken this apart probably five years ago now and I'm glad to see that I uh, marked everything really well. Um, so that helps a lot um, in you know, eliminating stuff because obviously I'm not going to need air conditioning and you know there's other stuff like evap don't need that so i'm going to basically start stripping the uh housing off of these wires and go from there okay so still working on this wiring harness here it's a bit of a headache just basically splicing or cutting apart Cutting out what I don't need and trying to split it because some of it's going to the front, some of it's going to the back. The way the harness was made was the headlights were obviously in front of the engine and it would tie around and plug into different places so I got to sort it out. No fun. Alright so this is where I'm going to quit on the wiring for now. Basically just got some of it tucked up in there. Got the fuse boxes mounted and the ECU is back in there on the wall. Just roughed out, still gotta finish installing like lights and stuff and fan, all the other accessories that are gonna need to go in it. But for now that's good enough. I can keep fabricating and put that in later. All right, so we got uh, the back part of this body put on. Uh, it's pretty much the same technique as the front, so I didn't really film any of it. What I'm trying to do now is build an engine cover. Um, this is kind of a necessity. This part is uh, going to be welded in place. I'm going to trim out a little bit more here on the exhaust. Right now I just built a little frame at an angle that fits in there nicely. Uh, I've been trying to figure out a hinge mechanism to work off of this too, but it's giving me a headache, so I'm gonna skip that for now and just work on uh, the skin and the fin. Because the exhaust is sticking up and because that doesn't look great, uh, it also is gonna let weather in and stuff, so what I'm thinking about doing is running a little fin right along the top of the lid here and sort of tie it in here and then just leave it ex open on this end so that the exhaust from the uh, engine will go out and also I think if I design it right or shape it right the uh, the flow coming out of here because there'll be an extra air gap it might actually pull air through uh, out of the engine compartment to keep it cool in there um, and I think that would be a big help an early mock-up and then basically you some idea what I'm thinking here gives it a cool line and then I'm gonna not sure exactly how to make this template I think I think I need to make this panel before I make this panel but not sure how to do that yet okay so I made these side panels uh, just ran them through, put a little English wheel action, get a little arc on there. Now I'm going to make these side panels. I actually want it to come out a little longer than where that is, but it's okay because it's... I didn't figure it would go to a point. Everything is clamped in place, as well as the bottom frame of it. So I'm hoping I get everything tack welded in place and it doesn't warp around too much, but we'll see. 
Okay, so probably didn't film enough of this, um, but this is what it came up with. in there. Got a little piece to fill in there. Not totally done yet, but it's on there pretty good. With the bodywork nearing completion, the amphibious vehicle nears its final form. It may look close to completion, but the extensive list of work still looms, as does summer. Follow the build to see if it will float.